Welcome to the first video in our dyslexia series, What is Dyslexia? This video series was developed through a partnership between the Georgia Department of Education and the Mary Francis Early College of Education at the University of Georgia. Upon completion of this video, you will be able to define and know the primary characteristics of dyslexia. In addition, we will dispel dyslexia-related myths and take a peek inside the reading brain. In 2019, the Georgia Legislature passed Senate Bill 48 to provide support for the identification and education of students with dyslexia in elementary and secondary schools. The primary purposes of Georgia's Senate Bill 48 were to ensure that teachers across the state were knowledgeable about dyslexia, school districts had the resources they needed to identify students with dyslexia, and students with dyslexia would receive the type of instructional support they required. Passage of Senate Bill 48 would result in the development of a handbook, the creation of the dyslexia endorsement, which all teachers in Georgia can earn, and the establishment of pilot districts to evaluate the effectiveness of early reading assistance for students with characteristics of dyslexia. Why did state legislators think Georgia needed such a bill? By fourth grade, 65% of students fail to achieve above a basic level of reading. An alarming 34% of all fourth grade students score below basic levels. It is estimated that one out of 10 students experience persistent difficulty in learning to read. These students are considered to have reading disabilities. Students with reading disabilities can receive special education services under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act under the category of specific learning disability. Approximately 33% of students with IEPs are served under the category of specific learning disabilities. The federal definition of a specific learning disability is a disorder in one or more basic psychological processes involved in understanding or in using language, spoken or written, that may manifest itself in the imperfect ability to listen, think, speak, read, write, spell, or to do mathematical calculations, including conditions such as perceptual disabilities, brain injury, minimal brain dysfunction, dyslexia, and developmental aphasia. As you can see, dyslexia is one type of specific learning disability a student can have. As a matter of fact, the majority of students who have learning disabilities have difficulty learning to read. Smaller percentages of students with learning disabilities have difficulty with mathematics and writing. These conditions can also overlap. To review, 65% of fourth graders are not proficient in reading. Approximately 1 out of 10 students will experience persistent difficulty learning to read. Students with dyslexia can qualify for special education services, and students with dyslexia are served under the category of specific learning disability. Dyslexia Definitions and Myths The most commonly adopted definition of dyslexia was developed by the International Dyslexia Association. Dyslexia is a specific learning disability that is neurobiological in origin. It is characterized by difficulties with accurate and or fluent word recognition and by poor spelling and decoding abilities. These difficulties typically result from a deficit in the phonological component of language that is often unexpected in relation to other cognitive abilities and the provision of effective classroom instruction. Secondary consequences may include problems in reading comprehension and reduced reading experience that can impede growth of vocabulary and background knowledge. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual also provides a definition of dyslexia. Dyslexia is an alternative term used to refer to a pattern of learning difficulties characterized by problems with accurate or fluent word recognition, poor decoding, or poor spelling abilities. Thus, all definitions of dyslexia highlight difficulty with word recognition and spelling as primary characteristics. These difficulties are not caused by visual acuity problems or low intelligence. That means dyslexia is not caused by problems with vision or how the eyes work. Special glasses or eye training will not help individuals with dyslexia. Also, many people believe that people with dyslexia read backwards or the letters jump around on the page visually. While it is true that some individuals with dyslexia will consistently mix up their P's, B's, D's, and Q's, the true difficulty lies within their ability to connect the sounds of language to letters and letter combinations. To review, Dyslexia is neurobiological in origin and characterized by difficulty with word recognition and spelling. 
Dyslexia is not caused by problems with vision, and individuals with dyslexia do not read backwards. We often refer to students with learning disabilities as having unexpected difficulty with learning. These students are otherwise bright, whether it's contributing ideas or coming up with creative problem-solving approaches, but experience frustration and difficulty decoding the words on a page. So, a reading disability is neurological in origin and makes it difficult for otherwise bright individuals to learn how to read. But what exactly is going on in the brains of individuals with dyslexia? Dyslexia in the brain. First, here's a picture of a brain of a person without a reading disability. Notice that three areas of the brain are activated. Broca's area, the parietotemporal lobe, and the occipitotemporal region. Note that each of these areas perform a slightly different function to assist with reading. When a person without a reading disability reads, blood flows to these areas and this activity can be detected using fMRI technology. The more blood that flows to the area, the bigger the circle and the more work that area is doing. In contrast, we can look at the brain of a person who has dyslexia. Individuals with dyslexia have less activation of the parietotemporal and occipitotemporal regions. In addition, researchers have found overactivation of other regions of the brain. Thus, a person with a reading disability is attempting to do a very complex task using less efficient pathways than skilled readers. Brain imaging research is exciting because it verifies the relationship between phonological differences and difficulty with learning to read, and it has allowed us to test the effects of specific reading interventions in relationship to brain functioning. Studies have shown that when students with reading disabilities are provided with reading instruction that emphasize phonology and decoding, patterns in brain activation change. These changes in brain activity are associated with gains in decoding skills. To review, findings from neurological research confirms that dyslexia is real and that reading intervention can help. But what are the characteristics of someone with dyslexia? Characteristics of dyslexia. Preschool children may be late in learning to talk, have limited vocabulary or inconsistent memory for words, and have difficulty learning the alphabet. When children start school, early indicators of dyslexia may include difficulty producing rhyming words, hearing and manipulating individual speech sounds and spoken words, remembering the names of letters and recalling them quickly, recalling the sounds that letters represent, recognizing common words by sight or automatically, and mapping sounds of letters for spelling. By the time students reach second or third grade, their difficulties separate them from their peers. They continue to have difficulty with reading, writing, and spelling. Upper elementary students will have trouble with oral reading fluency, reading quickly and accurately, and tasks such as note-taking, time management, and organization can become an issue. Reading is the process of mapping speech to print. Learning to talk comes naturally for most kids. Babbling becomes words and words become sentences. Kids imitate what they hear and slowly begin to speak like those around them. The same does not happen for reading. Writing is a code. To learn to read, students must be taught the code. The sounds of language, which they already know from speaking, must be mapped to the letters and letter combinations on the page. To understand what a word means after it has been read requires knowledge of language. Therefore, the simple view of reading holds that the ability to read is the product of one's ability to decode text and one's ability to understand language. When a person encounters difficulty with either decoding or language comprehension, difficulties arise. Let's review. Who are individuals with dyslexia? Individuals with dyslexia are those who experience difficulty with accurate and fluent word reading. Are students with dyslexia served under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act? Yes, students with dyslexia can be served under the category of specific learning disabilities. Almost half of the students receiving special education services are served under this category. The majority of them experience difficulty with reading. Do individuals with dyslexia read backwards? No, this is the most common myth about dyslexia. Individuals with dyslexia have difficulty mapping the speech sounds to letters. This makes it difficult for them to read and spell. The difficulty associated with seeing a letter and not being able to process the sound or not being able to write a letter for a sound can be confusing for a person to describe. As a result, 
the idea of mixing up letters on a page became shorthand for describing difficulties with phonology. Are the brains of individuals with dyslexia different? Yes. Neurologists have found overactivation of some areas and underactivation of other areas of the brain. The overactivation is why it can be physically taxing for someone with dyslexia to try and read. Their brains are not being efficient, causing a great expenditure of effort for the person trying to read. Can individuals with dyslexia learn to read? Yes. Direct teaching of the code can help rewire the brains of individuals with dyslexia. Although reading may be slower, tremendous gains in reading and spelling performance can be made. Funding for the Dyslexia series was provided by the Georgia General Assembly. The content was developed by Dr. Kristen Sieski from the University of Georgia. For more information about dyslexia, be sure to check out the other videos in the series.